Good morning and welcome to God's Flock Christian Fellowship. This is the second Sunday service for the year 2022. And it is my joy to welcome each and every one of you to our virtual worship service. Thank you, Lord, for technology. And thank you that we are able to gather even this way. We are so grateful. We are so hopeful and our hearts are expectant. God is going to speak to us today mightily through the word of God and we can just really expect that God will show up and God will just minister to each and every one of us. I pray that you will truly have an encounter with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'd like to welcome those of you who are joining us from other parts of the world. Those of you who are joining us for the first time, we are so honored to have you here. I will start with a short prayer before we begin our praise and worship. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And thank you to all of you for making time to join us today in this time of worship. Father, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for the expectation that is rising in our spirits knowing, Lord, that you are here in this place. I pray, God, that you will just fill us with an understanding, God, of who you are and your love for your people. This is our prayer, and all of God's people say with me today, Amen, Amen, and Amen. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, with everything that is within us. We bless your holy name.
one. The, by, the byword of God's clock was the best is yet to come. And every heart will lighten up when I start saying it to everybody, the best is yet to come. And with the same encouragement, I would like to encourage you to, to cling on to that hope that the best will always be, will always be the will of the Lord for us. And our hope and our, as we confess that the best is yet to come, the Lord had not disappointed us because throughout the years of, uh, of fear, of insecurity, and some of us uh, with sadness in our heart because of lost loved ones, ito Panginoon ay hindi naging hadlang upang tayo ay umasa sapagkat tayo ay nananampalataya na the best is yet to come. And throughout those, uh, throughout those, uh, throughout 2021, nakita natin kung papaano na hindi tayo pinabayaan ng ating Panginoon. Ang kanyang presensya ay palagi nating kasama. And as for me, as for me, life is at its best when He is with us. And in the same, in the same, in the same hope, we're going to face tomorrow. We're going to face 2022 with that same expectation that each day will be the best because that is what God has in mind for each one of us. But I would like to add to that the best is yet to come, yes. But the best of the bestest is coming. And that what a glorious day that is going to be. And that is the coming or the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have not heard this teaching for quite some times because I believe that preachers are busy and I believe that that is the leading of the Lord. Nang ang mga preaching ngayon is to encourage us because kailangan natin ito. Kailangan ng lahat ang encouragement kasi sa nangyayari sa mundo. But today, I'm going to touch on the second coming to encourage you more because if we had been waiting for the coming of the Lord, at sometimes sabi natin, kaya lang kaya, sana dumating na ang Panginoon. But the encouragement that I would like to tell you, kung before, even uh, when, the, when, the, when the apostles were still with the Lord, na gusto nila dumating kaagad ang ating Panginoon, but ilang taon na, 2,000 years, and even centuries, because even the Old Testament are also expecting that the, re that the Redeemer is going to come, even as early as Job. Uh, as Job, he said that his Redeemer lives and he knows that he is coming back. So anyway, because of that, uh, if those times, sabi ng Panginoon, babalik siya, and they were waiting for it, 2022, we are a year closer to the time when He is going to come back again. Now, let me tell you that there are, that hindi po importante kung kailan siya dadating, sapagkat wala pong nakakaalam, wala pong nakakaalam kung kailan siya dadating. Kasi ang sabi, ang sabi nga po sa I think it was in Matthew when he said that nobody knows. Okay, let's read that. Verse 36 of Matthew, of, Matt, of Matthew chapter 24. So verse 36, But about that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father alone. But this time I know Jesus Christ knows it already. But anyway, uh, uh, I would like to start our study, our study, on two things that we have to do while waiting for the coming of the Lord, of the Lord for us. Now, uh, I would like us to read. We are not going to read the whole verses, the whole verses that is going to be our topic today, in order to save time. But. Uh, but read it for your own studies. 
Luke 19, 11, 27. Uh, alam ko na ito po ay hindi the first time na maririnig ninyo sapagkat ito po many preachers had preached to us about this parable. About this parable. But uh, ito po for our study today, um, ibibigyan ko kayo ng uh, just a summary of, of what it is all about, about na it has something to do with the coming of the Lord. Okay. Now, ito mong parable na ito, sinabi ng ating Panginoon, on their way to Jerusalem, nakasama niya ang mga apostles, at uh, alam niya na ang kanyang oras ay um, nabibilang na kasi he knows that he will be crucified. At alam din niya na madidiscourage ang kanyang mga ang kanyang mga apostles, ang kanyang mga disciples will be uh, will be uh, will be will be discouraged kasi makita na siya ay pinapako sa cross and they are expecting na ang na siya ay magi-establish ng kanyang kingdom and they are waiting for they are waiting na maista makapag set up siya ng kingdom dito because like today they are already fed up with what is going on in their world that day because they are being oppressed uh, by the by the Roman and by, by the Roman Empire. Kaya nga sinabi niya ang tungkol sa parable or sa parable na ito na uh, na dito po ay sinabi niya na yung 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 isang yung yung isang master dito po ang ikang kanyang tinutukoy ay ang kanyang sarili na siya ay aalis pero binigyan niya yung tatlong niyang servant which represent uh, the believers okay na binigyan niya ito ng ng pera as an investment ang nakalagay dito is minus ang ibig po sabihin ng minus yun po ay equivalent to two and a half annual salary salary during that time that's a lot of money so tatlo po ang binanggit dito na mga makanyang mga mga servants na binigyan ang yung first binigyan niya ng 10 minus okay at yung at yung pangalawa binigyan po niya ito ng 5 minus and then uh, the last one isa lang ay binigay niya so ang sabi niya dun po sa verse for verse 13 at ito po ito po ang ating ito po ang ating ang ating pagtutuunan ngayon na ang sabi po niya put this money to work dun po sa iba do business until I come back so in other words ito ang kanyang instruction ito investment invest ninyo okay invest ninyo and sabi nga is uh, do business do business until until I come ngayon after some after, after a time bumalik po at hinanapan sila tinanong ng account, nagbigay ng, nagbigay sa kanya ng accounting, yung pong una ang sabi niya, eto ang, ang, ang sampung minus na ibinigay mo sa akin, pero ito po ay na, na, na doble. Ngayon po, it, I, have, I have to give you 10 minus more. Ngayon ang naging sabit ng ating Panginoon ay, uh, ano, well, good, my go- well done, My good ser, my good sermon, because you have been trustworthy. I will, you are going to take charge of ten cities. At impu naman binigyan ng lima ang sabi niya, eto, ito po ay naging sam, ay naging sampo. At ang at ang sabi ng ang sabi ng ang sabi po ng ang sabi po ng ng master sabi niya, you will take charge of five more cities. Tapos po yung huli na binigyan niya ng isa. Ang sabi, ito po ay tinago ko. I wrap it in a handkerchief. At uh, inalagaan ko po ito hanggang sa kayo dumating. Pero tapos ibinigay niya. Tapos ang sabi niya, you wicked servant. Wicked servant. Sabi niya, uh, bakit hindi mo ito inilagay sa bangko upang ito ay magkaroon ng interest? Tapos ang nang din sagot po nitong ano itong binigyan lamang ng isa ang sabi niya kasi alam ko kayo po you are a hard man at alam ko na maghahanap kayo 
So anyway, totoo, eh bakit you did not even put it in the bank upang sa aking pagdating at least nagkaroon niya ng interest. Kaya ang sabi niya, okay, kunin ninyo itong isang ito, ibigay doon sa, uh, sa uh, may binigyan ko ng 10, 10 minus at pagkatapos ang naging sagot, meron na siya, nabigyan na siya ng 10 minus. Patapos ang sabi ng ang, ang sabi po noong noong master kasi napakalaki ng aking pagtitiwala sa kanya ang the more I am going to give for those who are trustworthy ito po ay uh, ito po ay tinatalakay ng ibang mga pastor and I myself when I touch about this about the judgment Ito po ay atin ding pag-aaralan. Pag so, bakit dito po nakita natin, nakita natin that at the end of the day, all of us will be accountable, accountable to God, to whatever He has given us. And I believe the talents, all that we have belongs to God about the accounting of how we live our lives. Pero, ang sabi po ng Ang, ang instruction po ng Panginoon ang instruction po sa kanila ng Panginoon habang nag-aantay ng pagdating ng kanilang Panginoon ang sabi po is uh, do business until I come again and that is also the instruction for each and every one of us that while we are waiting for the coming of the Lord we have we have a job to do we have to be witnessing, we have to be giving, we have to be serving, and we have to to be to keep on loving until he comes. Remember, ang, ang ating pong main job is really to share the gospel. Remember the Great Commission. But remember that every time we give, we are sharing the gospel. When we love, we witness about the love of God. And we are sharing the gospel. When we are serving, we are we are witnessing about the good news of self, about the good news, and we are sharing the gospel through those things that we do in church, we do with our family, and we do with our family as a witness of what God has done in our lives. Okay. And then, so ang sabi ng ating Panginoon doon sa ano, do business until I come back. And this is the same instruction na ibinibigay sa atin habang tayo nag-iintay ng kanyang pagdating na maging busy po tayo. Maging busy tayo at tayo po i-invest natin whatever that has been given to us. Our talents, our life, our life. And everything that was given to us, let us uh, fulfill the Great Commission. As I have said, as I have said, when we witness, when we serve, when we serve, and when we serve, and when we give, we are sharing the gospel, and we are doing uh, His instruction uh, to do business until He comes. The second thing. The instruction ng ating Panginoon sa atin while waiting for the coming of the Lord is number two, do not be sidetracked. Sidetracked, okay? Now, ito po ay makikita natin sa Matthew 24, 3, 3 hanggang, hanggang 14. Pagkatapos, ang sabi, ng mga, ang sabi ng mga disciples sa kanya, tell us, kailan mangyayari ang iyong pagdating? What will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? Remember, it says your coming and then the end of the age. These are two different things, which I'm going to discuss. Which I'm going to discuss as we go along. And Jesus answered them and said to them, "See to it that no one misleads you." Ang ibig sabihin, do not be sidetracked. Okay. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. Now, we can see this. Kasi may mga, may mga, sabi nga nila, pastor. Pero they make their own kingdom. At sinasabi, at, at they make their own kingdom. 
In fact, meron tayong mga kaso sa Pilipinas ngayon, okay? But anyway, and they will mislead many people. Pastors, makikita natin ang misleading, misleading people, okay? And sabi nga, ito ang isang karakteristik, karakteristik or signs of the coming of the Lord. Ah, uh, uh, makikita natin how uh, how pastor as misguided or had been sidetracked, had been sidetracked uh, in the in the job that was give that was uh, assigned to them by the Lord. So it, I'm not going to elaborate too much on this. At alam niyo ito. So many had uh, uh, so many uh, cases wherein. Uh, people are misled. Some people are even have to, have to go to the mountains. Pagkatapos, sasabihin nila, they want to go to heaven. And so, magpapakamatay po sila. Magpapakamatay sila. In other words, mga teaching ito, na, uh, out of this world. Kaya ang sabi, sa, ang sabi po ng instruction dito is, see to it that no one misleads you. Yun po ang sabi, or in our word, in our in our word, do not be sidetracked, okay? So, ano pa ang sign ng kanyang coming? Ng kanyang coming, and you will be hearing new, news of wars, and rumors of wars. This has been going on from the very beginning, even from Genesis, okay? Now, ito nangyayari din, nangyayari din, makita nyo, katatapos lamang ng gera sa sa Iraq, eto meron na naman susunod, and so forth and so on. And then but sabi dito, see to it that you are not alarmed. Huwag po nating isipin na ito na ang katapusan for those things must take place. Kailangan mangyari po ito, sabi ng Panginoon. But that is not yet the end. Hindi pa po ito ang katapusan. For nation will, will rise against nation kingdom against kingdom and there will be famines problema po ito ng mundo ang tagutom even right now because of death there is famine in the Philippines but we know makikita natin sa Africa na marami ang namamatay dahil sa gutom and then earthquakes in various places earthquakes marinig natin doon sa Europe, makikita natin sa Pilipinas, and then sa California. But all these things are merely the beginning of birth pains. Parang labor pains ito. Pero that is not the end. Pagkatapos sa ating nga dito is uh, then they will haul you over to tribulation. Magkakaroon ng tribulation and kill you. You will be mated by nations because of my name. And, that, and, the, and at that time, so makita rin natin na kung papaano na ang mga Kristiyano pinupuutan ng ulo, okay? At pinahihirapan. And many will fall away. Makikita natin na many people is started uh, with fire, with the insanity of their love for the Lord. Pero pagdating po ng panahon, makikita natin nasaan sila. I remember in the Philippines, ang sabi nila, Nandiyan ka pa. Tapos sabi ko, saan pa ako pupunta? Okay? So, uh, so uh, nakita dito, many will fall away and they will betray one another. Makita natin, even in the body of Christ, walang kasunduan. Makikita, walang pagkakasundo. They, uh, paminsan, ano, at sinasabi na, you know what I mean, you know, they betray one another. Uh, uh, they criticize one another and even to the extent of hating one another. Many false prophets will rise up and mislead people. That's what I am talking about. And because lawlessness is going to increase. Kung tayo po ay na umaasa na the world is going to be better and we used to recall how it was better when we were younger. Pero mga katid, wag na po tayong aasa na babalik yun sapagkat ang sinabi po, lawlessness is going to increase. Ngayon po makikita natin 
uh, ang kasamaan ng mundo, okay? Most people love will become cold, okay? But the one who endures to the end is the one who will be saved. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end, the end will come. Okay? So, makikita natin that these are the signs. These are the signs of His coming. But at the end, and we have to remember that na verse 14 of this chapter, this gospel, ito po, the good news is going to be, is going to be preached to the whole world as a testimony to all nations. Wala pong exemption. Hindi po dadating ang Panginoon kung hindi ang magandang balita ay nakarating sa, sa kasulusulukan ng mundo. Now, how can this be? The missionaries are very few. Pero makikita natin na because, ngayon it's possible. Walang excuse ang sino man na hindi na narinig ang magandang balita because of the satellite. Ang, ang ministry ng uh, Trinity Broadcasting uh, Broadcasting TBN ito po ay ang maglagay ng mga satellites sa iba't ibang iba't ibang nations sa buong mundo even to Africa they invest their money uh, in money on this no matter how expensive it, so that ang gospel is going to be spread even to the remotest remotest um, corner of the world. Okay? So, uh, makikita natin dito ang instruction ng ating Panginoon, uh, do business until I come, and then number two, do not be sidetracked. Okay? So, marami po na, na nagpipreach ng nagpipreach ng mga ng second second coming and during my during my time during my time is marami pong modern teaching na uh, na nagiging cause ng division sa mga churches because of their interpret because of their interpretation meron pong pre trib meron po meron mid trib at saka meron post trib na kaya po pagka ikaw ay pre trib it is enough for disbelievers to leave the church and go to the church with who believes in mid trip if you believe in mid trip okay pero makikita nga natin dito na mga kapatid the time whether it's pre trip mid trip or post trip alam natin that it doesn't make any difference because it says nga walang nakakaalam kung kailan dadating ang panginoon whether it's before the tribulation in the middle of the tribulation or uh, after the tribulation. Okay. Now, all the signs that I have mentioned, that is mentioned in Matthew, Matthew 24, makita natin na ito, ay, na ito po, ay, it's been happening to all generation. Even theologians, even theologians of the 80s, we have heard na noon akala ng, akala sa Pilipinas, dadating na ang Panginoon sapagkat mayroon pong nagtuturo na yung pong yung pong um, yung pong ancient no? ancient Rome is going to be restored is going to be re restored kasi po uh, ang sabi nila na during during the 80s i heard na magiging sampuna ang magiging sampuna who will join the common mar the common market kasi ang sabi nila inaantay na lamang ang isa lang isa lang isa pang nasyon ang umanib doon sa ten nation who will come together the who will come together in order to restore uh the, to restore to restore the the ancient ancient Rome that has been prophesied in Daniel pero makikita natin kapatid naging sampu ito ngayon po there are 27 nation in the common market pero hindi pa rin po dumating ang Panginoon. Pero, they got excited over it, over it and they forgot what Jesus has said, do business until I come. And also, do not be 
side side down. I tell you that the enemy will try everything to do anything to prevent us from doing from doing what has been assigned to us and that is the great that is the great commission one that will bring Jesus Christ come back uh, come back kaya din proclamation po ng ating uh, ng gospel uh, na ang mga tao ay talagang humayo katulad ng sinabi sa atin sa great commission go Uh, sapagkat alam niya na kapag ka itong gospel ay naipa, naipa na, narinig na ng lahat ng nations sa mundo then dadating ang Panginoon and that is also the end of him, of Satan of Satan so piniprevent po niya ito so ngayon po, meron pong mga biblical scripture na ipakikita ko po sa inyo the glimpse of what is going to come I cannot exhaust I cannot exhaust all of them, all of them, kasi napakarami po. But anyway, uh, I'm going to ask Cromwell to give you all the, all the scriptures, all the scriptures, all the scriptures, or I am going to put it in, I'm going to put it in the, uh, in our internal communication, so that, because, so that you yourself can research on all those scriptures uh, that is biblical about the sure coming of the lord as he had as he had as he had promised okay but for now i'm just going to give you a few i'm just going to give you a few i say hindi ko po ma-exhaust ito because the second coming requires requires a massive study of it and it will it will not it will not 45 minutes or an hour is not going to be enough for us for us to teach this but this is going to be a series i remember na tinitingnan ko po lahat ng aking notes napakapal po ng notes ko when i was teaching that uh, in the philippines but anyway ngayon po bibigyan ko lang kayo ng glimpse but i want you to have your own study based on what the scripture that uh, that uh, that uh, uh, that i am going to list down about the biblical description of the second coming. Okay. Pero dito po, I'll just give you a few. Okay. Uh, number one, ang sabi ng ating Panginoon is, He's going to come again. Ang sabi niya, I will come down myself. I will be, I will come down from heaven to pick you up. Myself, ang sabi ng ating Panginoon. Sa, I, I, sa 1 Thessalonians 4.16, Jesus had promised himself he's going to come again. Kasi ang ating Panginoon po is a promise keeper. Is a prom Pag po ito ay sinabi niya, pwede po natin ita uh, itaga sa bato. Okay, sabi nga nila, yun pala ang sinasabi, ay kinuha po ito doon sa, doon sa when, G when God wrote the Ten Commandments. But anyway, I don't want to be sidetracked in my teaching. So, So, uh, so, okay. No, so, he promised he's going to come back. Siya mismo, hindi po mga anghel. Tapos, ang sabi niya, siya po mismo ang tatanggap sa atin. Kasi ang sabi niya sa John 14, And if I go, I'm going to prepare a place for you. I am coming again and I will take you to myself. So that where I am, there you will be. So mga kapatid, hindi po si Peter ang sasalubong sa atin. Ang sabi po niya, ako mismo ang tatanggap, ang tatanggap sa inyo. Okay, kasi, okay, anyway. And then the next, then, uh, and then ito po. Number three, we will meet him in the air. Ang sabi po ng mga iba na talagang tayo po ay pinagtatawa na ng ibang mga ng ibang mga religion na ang sabi, ano ba yan? Di ba dalawang beses lang dadating ang Panginoon? Ay bakit meron kayong sinasabi na there is going to be a rapture? Sa mga tuwid, tatlong beses babalik ang ating Panginoon. But remember, dito po sa first uh, first Thessalonians uh, uh, 4.17 <clears throat> Then we who are alive 
who remain will be brought caught up caught up together with with them in the clouds anyway this time i'm going to uh i'm going to this uh teach you about the rapture ito po ang ating pagtutuunan ng pansin ng pansin ngayon um uh, ng ating study ito po ang rapture ang ating panginoon hindi po bababa sa lupa siya po ay uh, siya po ay uh, he's going to meet us yung rapture doon po sa air sa uh, sa clouds in other word he is not going to touch down on earth there will be a calm time ng ating Panginoon himself with the angels and even with us will come down and touch the earth and that is the end of the AIDS the end of the, the end of this AIDS when all things is going to be new okay na ang sabi nga heaven and earth will pass away so anyway let's go to uh first Thessalonians chapter chapter uh, chapter 4 okay chapter 4 verse verse uh, verse uh verse 13 okay the coming of the lord this is what they call the rapture okay brothers we don't want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep now doon daw po sino ang sinatinutukoy nito yung pong natulog ngayon yung pong namatay na nasa sa panginoon hindi po sinabi na they died but they had fallen asleep now, ito po ay importante ng ibig sabihin kapag ang isang tao ay natulog, gigising po ito. So, ang sabi dito, huwag kayong, huwag, huwag kayong maging ignorante sapagkat yung mga natulog na nakay Kristo, huwag kayong, huwag kayong malungkot to grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. Meron po tayong blessed hope. Ito po ang ating blessed hope na we are that we are going we are going to sleep but we are going to live again we believe that jesus died and rose again so we believe that god will bring with jesus those who have fallen asleep in him ngayon ano po ang sequence pagdating ng ating panginoon na sinabi po siya po ay siya po ay bababa, bababa okay na nasa sa nasa sa clouds in other words halfway. Pagkatapos, ang una po na kanyang dadapitin is those who had fallen asleep. Yung pong nangamatay, uh, nangamatay na, na, na who had fallen asleep, yung pong mga namatay who are born again, who believe in Jesus Christ, na yung pong mga Old Testament people, na lahat po yun, lahat sila, sila po ang unang-una, na sila po ang, ang babangon mula sa kanilang hantungan and then after that they are going to be uh, they are going to be taken up by the Lord and then sino po ang susunod dito po sa verse 7 uh, 7 verse 17 ang sabi po dito is uh, yan. after that we who are alive still alive tayo po yun kung sa rapture po o sa pagdating ng ating Panginoon halfway in the sky ay tayo po ay buhay pa and we are all waiting for that anyway I hope it come I hope I hope it will be soon and our left will be caught up will be caught up ang ibig kong sabihin ito will be raptured up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air in other words we will be joining those loved ones, our loved ones, na dadapitin din ng Panginoon, dadapitin din ng ating Panginoon, and together, we are going to meet the Lord in the air, and so, we will be with the Lord, with the Lord, uh, with the Lord forever. At sinabi dito, therefore, encourage each other with this word. Ngayon, yun po ang inaantay ng mga believers ngayon ang rapture ang rapture wherein ang description po dito is uh, uh, for the lord himself will uh, will come will come okay for the lord verse 16 for the lord himself will come down from heaven okay 
with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Sila po yung dead in Christ, okay? Nanakay Kristo will rise first. After that, we who are still alive al, uh, and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so, we will be with the Lord forever. At ang sabi dito, encourage each other with his words. That is why I'm, I am preaching about this to encourage you, mga kapatid. The best is going to come. The bestest is going to come. Alam nyo, everything has an end. And I know na ang sabi nga, eh, cheer up because our salvation is nigh. Okay? Now, ngayon po, sabi, di, sabi po dito, sabi po is, after that, what happens? After na, nabuhay po yung nangamatay na, and then tayo po, tayo po mga kapatid, kapatid is, uh, we are going to follow them, and together with our loved ones, together with those people, even with the, the Old Testament, we are going to go with Jesus Christ to heaven. And you know what is going to happen there? Okay. Ay, ang sabi po, the marriage feast of the Lamb, na sinabi niya po, na sinabi po, po niya, noong siya mag-establish ng, ng communion, the Last Supper. Kaya po ito ay sinabing Last Supper is, uh, uh, ito po ay sinabi niya kasi yung po ang huling hapunan na huling hapunan na makakasama niya mang, yung mga disipulo kaya ang sabi niya this is the last supper because I will not be joining you to have this supper with you until I am in he I am in heaven and so makikita po na, na makikita po natin na ito po ang marriage feast of the Lamb pero bakit po natin Lagi po nating every Sunday, we have communion. Kasi po ang sabi ng ang Panginoon, do this in remembrance of me. Na until He comes, we keep on doing it. Kasi dadating ang araw, on the, on the time there will be the greatest feast. The greatest feast, pinakamasaya po yun. Pinakamahabang dulang na tayo po ay kasama natin. All the saints, all our loved ones who had passed away, and all the believers, dum po sa sa marriage of the Lamb, and what and what a glorious day that is going to be. At talo mo ang ang ano po dito is ang ang isa po na na nakakatwa po dito. Ito po yung nakita ko sa Luke twelve thirty seven. Blessed are those is slave. Okay, sad ko ang slave po. Tayo po ito, whom the master will find on the alert, on the alert. Ang sabi po, on the alert, ang ibig sabihin, nagtatrabaho at nag-iintay. At ang sabi po dito, when he comes, truly I say to you that he will prepare himself to serve and have them recline at the table. That is the marriage of them, the marriage of the of uh, of the lamb and he will come up and serve them imagine mga kapatid ang magsisilbi sa atin which refers that we are going to have that special contact with the lord hindi po si sister eloisa hindi po si sister, si brother ian ko hindi mga it will be jesus christ himself who will serve us who will serve us at sabi dito, individually. Sa mga katwid, mga katwid, I was thinking of the closeness na harapan natin makikita ang Panginoon. Ang Panginoon, the closeness of His present, we are going to experience, uh, we are going to experience that we have not experienced before. So mga kapatid, ito po ang demerits of the Feast of the Lamb. Na ito po ang we are looking forward This is our blessed hope na uh, ito po ang promise ng ating Panginoon throughout. So ito po ang tinatawag na rapture na 
uh, all of a sudden we are going to be taken away. Nakalagay, nakal, ang nagalakay po dito is, uh, we live, are still left, we'll be caught up, caught up together with them. Yung them na yung po, ay yung mga nauna sa atin na, na binuhay ng ating, pang, binuhay ng ating Panginoon. Ngayon maaari po kayo ay nag, nagtatanong na, uh, akala ko ba, ang mga ang mga soul nung ang mga anong mga namatay na nakai Kristo mga born again diretso sa langit yes with their soul but alam nyo ang desire ng ating Panginoon na uh, na tayo will be whole kasi nil lang niya tayo kasama ang ating katawan and we are not complete without our body the soul and the spirit and the spirit kaya po kukunin niya ito pagkatapos then in the same way na ang kanyang anak na si Jesus did not stay on the grave but he had risen that risen from the dead kaya ang sabi nga niya ang sabi ng ating i am the resurrection and the life so sa mga twin mga kapatid and because of that we are going to rise again. We are going to be with the Lord forever, forever. At, uh, 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 and that will be the most glorious, the most glorious day, day of our lives. And we will be with the Lord for forever. Now, ito po, dun po sa mga scriptures na hindi ko na po iisa-isahin sa inyo, ay um, ito po ay ilalagay ko sa ilalagay ko po ito sa 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 ating sa uh, what you call it sa internal communication or uh, or I'm going to copy it and those who are interested uh, uh, can you know can ask me for it so uh, ganito po ganito po ang sequence so therefore Ang emphasis ko po dito ay ano ang instruction sa ating Panginoon. One instruction, get busy. Okay? Do business while I am gone. Habang wala po ang Panginoon, maging busy tayo. Do business. Okay? Invest. Invest what He has given to us. At uh, what He has given to us. And then, the number two, do not be sidetracked. Huwag po tayong matitinag. Huwag po tayong matitinag na sa mga tawag ng mundo. Tawag ng mundo na ito po ay mas malakas, mas malakas. Marami po will fall away. And we use our lives, the rest of our lives, to do, to fulfill, to fulfill the great, to fulfill the great, to fulfill the great, the great, the great commission. And then, if we want to hasten the coming of the Lord, mga kapatid, ito po ay ang sabi ko nga, one of the signs is that hindi po datating ang Panginoon kung hindi po ang gospel is preached all over the world at no one had any excuse na hindi nila narinig ang gospel. So for our part, let us, um, let us be what God, what Jesus Christ had referred to us as the salt and the light and, and the light of the world. Okay, bakit po salt ang sinabi? Alam nyo, ako po mahilig sa tuyo. Okay? Pero you know, as I'm studying this, ano ang, na, bakit ang tuyo nakakatating sa sa atin dito? Bakit, uh, bakit ito yung naka, mula sa Pilipinas? We do not know when it was when it was when it was salted you know pero maaring years pero na preserve po ito bakit dahil po sa salt dahil po sa asin in the same way and sabi you are the salt of the earth kapatid salt preserve ngayon tayo is let us let us be the salt upang yung mga tao people whom we have get in contact to at saka yung mga tao na ma, ma, na tayo ang maging asin upang sila ay hindi ma-infect ng mundo by bringing them to the Lord yung po ang ating role ngayon to preserve to preserve 
uh, the body of Christ to preserve those who are still in the world by really, by really, by, by our testimony to be the salt. Hindi po sinabi ng ating Panginoon, you will be the salt, you will be the, you will be the light. Sinabi niya, you are the salt already, you are the light. Alam niyo ang, ang naging sabi ng ating Panginoon, huwag nating itago ang ating ang ating light. Kundi ilagay po ito sa isang lamp stand. Sapagat ngayon, kailangan makita ng mundo. Ang mundo po is living in darkness. At uh, makikita natin na kapag ka po ito yung candlelight ceremony, oras na, mag, oras na ang isang kandila na in spite of the darkness, eh, Pag nagsinda, pag nagsindi ang unang kandila, makita natin na nag-iiba na lahat-lahat nakatingin po sa light na yon. So in the same way mga kapatid, let us be a testimony. Ang mga tao naghahanap, naghahanap sila ng peace, naghahanap sila ng joy. Kaya po sila hinahanap nila ito sa mundo. Hayaan po natin na tayo ay maging testimony sa tam testimony sa kanila. Ang sabi ko nga po doon sa mga ka, mga kapat, kapatiran natin, ang sabi ko, kung ang ating ang ating relationship with others, nakita ko marami kayong kaibigan, kung hindi po ito tayo nagiging testimony at sila po ay hindi natin nasi-share ng gospel, then that that relationship wala ay ay it's useless. Pero Maging testimony po tayo. Dalhin natin sila sa Panginoon. Makita sa kan makita nat, makita nila ang ating buhay upang maging testimony. Kaya nga lang po, marami sa atin ang kinahiya ang gospel. Sapagkat po kung minsan meron tayong contact na ang hindi natin alam, yung mga kaibigan natin, din natin dinalaya ng Panginoon sa iyo upang makita nila ang light sa ating buhay pero kung minsan po tayo ang nadadala hindi pa tayo ang nakapatada kasi mga kapatid umaayon tayo what they are doing ginagawa natin like like for example isang pagkakataon na yung pong pagpipray yung pong pagpipray yung po ay isang testimony sa kanila sapagkat Ito po ay alien sa kanila yung mga yung mga traditions natin sa ating sa ating walk yung pagdadasal bago kumain in the way that you know one time i saw somebody who was asked uh, to pray testimony yung mga kapatid kasi makikita nila ibang klase tayo pero alam niyo po ang nakita ko nakita ko po nag sign of the cross of course it is okay but sabi ko sayang Sayang, sayang yon, okay? So, therefore, yung little things na yan, meron pa rin sa atin ng mga, ng mga ano, pagka meron ng, merong nakatingin na ibang tao, alam mo, pagpipray, yun ang pagkakataon ko, pagkakataon ko, pagpipray, pagpipray ako. Pagkatapos, ah, sabi ko bago ko man, tika muna, let's pray first. Hindi ko po ikinahihiya na makilala nilang ating, ating Panginoon ah, through our action, through our way of life. Meron po, even pastors, ikinahiya na kapag meron ng iba, ibang tao, hindi na magpe-pray. Hindi na magpe-pray. Kaya po, mga kapatid, let us be the light. Ang mga tao naghahanap. Ang mga tao naghahanap ngayon. They are groping in the dark. And it is our responsibility to be the salt, to preserve them upang sila pang upang sila ay madapuan ng mga bag, bangaw na walang asin, mabubulok sila because of the of the world system. Ang ang Lord he loves the earth because he created it. He loves each and every one of us. Pero ang ang ang, ang, ang sinasabi ng ng Panginoon is the world system ang sistema po ng mundo. So mga kapatid, it is our responsibility while waiting for the coming of the Lord, while waiting for the best, for the best and the bestest is going to come soon. It's going to come soon. Mga kapatid, let us do business while waiting for Him. Let us do our job 
and let us invest invest our life in bless our talents and also do not be sidetracked do not be uh, swayed by the system of this world but be the soul and the light of this earth so i challenge you today mga kapatid the good news is easy to share sabi niyo hindi kayo marunong magpreach pero it's so easy just tell them about the good news the good news and the good news is that the son of god came 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 to, uh, came to this earth he lived in this earth the life that we cannot live hindi hindi natin kaya siya po ay nakis siya po ay naging naging parang tayo ipinakita sa atin how to live nangaral sa atin and then after that he died on the cross na yung pag yung yung kamatayan yun nakaparusahan sa sino mang makasalanan ito po ay inako niya inako niya and then he rose again and if we want to be counted as the one to whom the lord is coming back is coming back for us on the rapture on the rapture mga kapatid it is his time for us to look forward for that to encourage us to keep on living to keep on living occupy yourself with the business of the of the lord and also to keep our life not sub subject to the to the to the to the world and be a testimony be the light and the salt of this earth i challenge you share jesus this week to others amen let us pray father god i pray that this will be enough to really look forward for the time that you are coming back for us and really enjoy your presence the presence that we enjoy it but the fullness of your presence oh lord we are going to experience it face to face with you at the marriage of the, at the marriage of the lamb and then that will be that glorious day and we are going to be there with you forever and ever and ever amen and amen let us i would like to ask na this new year let us pray let us let us salubungin natin ang bagong taon with the noise with the noise of music from God's Black Christian Fellowship under the leadership of Brother Cromwell who who sing this song together with our brothers and sisters uh, to proclaim that we are not going to die we are going to live amen god bless
praise God for the beautiful experience that we all had worshiping the Lord. Thank you for just allowing your hearts to flow with the Holy Spirit, just singing our songs to the Lord today. Thank you, God, for your presence. Thank you for just allowing us to express our love to you through songs. I am just um, really grateful that despite the pandemic, despite all the adjustments that we have made as a church going virtual, we have committed ourselves to move forward and to continue the work of the Lord. I would like to just share with all of you that uh, the pandemic is not stopping us from doing what God has called us to do. We have committed ourselves to do, doing our ministries virtually, and we are grateful that we are able to continue our worship services, our prayer services, our Bible studies. I would like to just uh, flash very quickly the activities that uh, we are having in church for the rest of the week virtually, from the men to the women to the children. Thank you, Lord. It is truly by the grace of God that we are able to just continue. And I'd like to encourage those of you here who are still not able to participate in any of our virtual ministries going on, I pray that you will be able to um, take advantage of all these things that we are doing. And if you are having a hard time technologically, if there's any way that we can assist you and help you set up your mobile phones or your computer units so that you can be part of these worship services, especially even our senior citizens, we are more than willing to really do this for you. And so please encourage also our children to participate in all the activities. Really, it's hard. It's, it's very challenging to continue doing what we are doing, but God has taught us to really be flexible, to really be persistent, and to really understand that even at such a time as this, we can really move in the anointing of the Holy Spirit and continue to do what we are doing. And in line uh, with all the ministries of the church, we would like to continue to encourage each and every one of you to support the work of the Lord through God's Flock Christian Fellowship, through the giving of your tithes and your offerings. I will be flashing right now the app that we are using to be able to assist all of us in the giving of our financial commitments to the Lord through this church. And this is really our time to thank each and every one of you for your faithfulness. And we would like to also just remind those of you who are not able to utilize this app, you can continue to send your love gifts and your offerings through checks to uh, Brother Ed or to Pastora Nene, those of you who would like to give uh, your offerings this way, we are still able to do that. Please um, know that all the generosity that you have been expressing and extending to the Lord is very much appreciate that it's very challenging financially for a lot of people but your generosity has really brought the ministry of the Lord forward and forward and forward maraming maraming pong salamat sa inyong lahat and i pray that you will really experience the joy and the contentment and the fulfillment of being able to give and to support God's work, and to really excel in the ministry of giving. Thank you, Lord. Week after week, we are also very blessed that we can gather around the table of the Lord to celebrate communion. And today, I would like to just invite all of you to once again prepare your communion elements at home. 
the bread and the cup. And uh, I pray that um, you will really be able to appreciate what we are doing Sunday after Sunday that we are gathering around the table of the Lord. And so I have my communion elements here with me now. And I'd like to just uh, encourage all of you to be in the presence of the Lord spiritually in your heart so that we can um, experience the deep meaning of this moment of breaking bread before God together even virtually. Let us pray. Father in heaven, I thank you that we are able to celebrate the breaking of bread around your table. I thank you for the meaning of your love for us at such a time. Thank you for the message of the gospel that continues to be our hope, that Christ died for our sins. He was buried, and after three days, he rose from the dead. I thank you that that message continues to be the anchor of our soul and the hope of our glory. This is our prayer, and we say amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, we remember on the night that Jesus Christ was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and after he gave thanks, he broke the bread, and he said, this is my body given for you. Take and eat and do this in remembrance of me. And after supper, Jesus took the cup, and after he gave thanks, he lifted the cup, and he said, this is the blood of the new covenant that has been shed for the forgiveness of your sins. Drink, all of you, and remember me. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you will bless this bread and that you will bless this cup and that you will remind us that your body has been broken and your blood has been spilled for the forgiveness of our sins. Thank you, Lord. As we partake of these communion elements, we give you praise. This is our prayer and we say amen and amen. Let us eat the bread and let us drink the cup and let us thank the Lord that we are able to celebrate the love of Jesus Christ for us today in Jesus' name.
Let us now come together and receive the blessing of the Lord. This is one of my most favorite parts of the worship service where we are together receiving the blessing of the Lord through the ironic blessing, the blessing that is written in scripture, the blessing that God has given uh, through uh, the word of the Lord that Aaron used to bless the Israelites. And this is the blessing that God himself uttered from his very lips. And this is the blessing that we are releasing to each other and to you on this very important occasion. Brothers and sisters in Christ, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord give you peace now and forever. And all of God's people say together, amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord, and have a blessed 2022.